my name is Jamie and this is my 1977 Dodge Explorer camper van. Uh, as you can see it's white with the uh, blue stripes. That's the racing stripes. If you're not <laughs> familiar with that, it's only on the SS model. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Uh, it's, uh, it's actually, they, you know, the Explorers, they had a few different types of these uh, uh, details that they added to them. Some had this stripe, some had a solid stripe. Uh, and then I've seen some that had uh, stripes up here actually. And they, they might have two different stripes here. But uh, it's got some neat little details to it. Of course, I need to kind of do a little fixing myself. Somebody converted these mirrors from the standard mirrors to the more uh, towing type mirrors. Because uh, you bought this how long ago? Yeah, I purchased this in May of uh, 2015. And uh, I kind of I bought it about an hour north of Anchorage. And I drove up there, and the guy's like, uh, you know, get, whoever gives me fifteen hundred bucks can have it. And I was like, not a problem, fifteen hundred bucks. <laughs> so uh, I, I said, the only thing I'm worried about will it make it to Seward? He says, not a. He says, not a problem. I guarantee you to make it down there. And so you know, hopped in there, I, I filled it up with fuel, and we drove straight down, no problems. Uh, I stopped in Girdwood one time just to check the the MPG, and uh, it was between about. I'd say 11 and 12 miles per gallon from from Wasilla to Girdwood. Now, uh, south from Girdwood to Seward, it's a little uh, more mountainous, and I think the MPGs drop down to about 10 miles a gallon on that. But like I said earlier, it's got a uh, 360. It's an automatic with a three-speed transmission, and it's on a one-ton chassis, uh, and it's the 224. I believe it's a 22-foot four-inch. Uh, model. So on this side, on the driver's side, this is where the dinette is on the inside. They have the sliding window. Of course you have the uh, the bug screen. That slides in and out. It locks on the inside. And this is the uh, toilet, shower, sink area. It's got a little, uh, I'm missing a little metal dial that goes in here. Dial pin. I gotta get that repaired. But it's good to have a little circulation in there <laughs> if you're not familiar with camper potties, right? Uh, of course, this is the, the extended part. This is where the, the fiberglass shell comes over. This is the addition. Uh, I do have a, uh, a storage compartment right there. I'll grab the key real quick. All right, and I just use this right now. I have uh, all of my fishing, some fishing poles. I have my uh, roadside assistance kit. And that goes all the way the length of the van, or well, the width of the van, I should say. And uh, I'd say it's probably two foot high. So it's pretty good storage there. Of course, I got my uh, my sewage pipe and all that in there, and my fresh water hose for hookups. Then some uh, lubricants in case uh, things go awry. You never know. Yeah, and that locks up pretty securely, of course. Definitely get a lock and gas cap on this style. And then we have the uh, fresh water hookup for uh, if you're going to run it off of uh, like city water. Just hook your hose up there. And this is uh, Blackwater Railroad. It's a local sewered band. They're really, uh, really popular. Uh, we went and watched them play in Hope uh, about a month or so ago. It was really, really good time. Then on this side, we got the uh, propane tanks. It's a dual tank. So you actually have the removable ones, huh? Yeah, you can take those out. It's pretty handy for that, you know, to be able to just grab it and, and go to the store and not have to worry about it. And you got your fresh water fill for your uh, your onboard tank. There's a external 120 outlet. And this is the, the heater which I cranked up earlier. I told you I was freezing. <laughs> and this is neat. This is, uh, let's say this little flap right here is the, uh, the the fan. It automatically kicks on when it's uh, when it's depressed. On the other side of this bulkhead is the uh, two burner stove. So here's the fan, the exhaust fan. You got the two burner stove. Uh, both dials right there. Then directly underneath the uh, the stove is the refrigerator, which I do not use. Uh, partially because it's just uh, with the schedule that I have, it's easier for me to 
uh, purchase food on the go and uh, I keep a little ice chest for soft drinks and, and beer and stuff like that. And then directly opposite of that we have a sink. I have a little uh, cutting board or a little extender for the, uh, the sink area and then you have some storage there which uh, I just have junk piled in there right now. <laughs> and above that we have some more storage. Just a couple of things. I got some potato chips and paper plates and stuff in there right now. And then up front with the uh, with the cockpit, how is that uh, working for you? Uh, you know, uh, it's really a comfortable ride. <clears throat> Driving wise, this thing drives down the road just so straight, uh, and it's you know I I've driven a few like motorhomes. And a, you know, a lot of the issues I have with them is like in high winds, the tipping. And uh, you know, when you, especially when you're coming south of Anchorage, you get uh, up towards Girdwood, just just north of Girdwood there, uh, at Turnigan Arm. There's just a ton of wind right there. And uh, but this thing just cuts through it pretty nice. It's nice and low and heavy. Mm -hmm. You have storage up mm -hmm. along the top here as well. Yep, I have. Uh, Three little cubicles there. That's probably uh, 18 inches to you know by 12 inches. It's good for you. Could put some sheet, you know, like some extra sheets up there. Or I'm gonna fold some clothes. And uh, as soon as you enter the the van, right across from you is the little dinette. Now this is what I, I spoke about earlier. Is uh, you know as far as having something that could be used, uh, I guess, more efficiently is uh, to have this converted to where you could use it as a sleeping area and the way it's uh, it's set up right now it's not feasible because the bases are, are cut back at an angle and uh, I don't know if you can really tell right here but say you start off and then it just goes it just it's just back at an angle right here so uh, I think in the future I'm gonna pull these out and I'm gonna get another base made to where it's square both on both sides and have like a, uh, uh, a something that'll roll out into a bed right here from one side to the other uh, probably from the rear to the front and actually I thought about maybe uh, changing the front seat to where the front seats maybe a little bit wider like the width of it and it just folds down and this comes up just a little bit to make a bed right there because it's you know it's handy because I can get two people in the back but a lot of times you know you got a, another couple that may want to go with you and uh, it's nice to have some arrangements for them because you know of course they they can sleep in a tent but if it gets cold out it's nice to be in here where we got the heater on the passenger left side before you get to the uh, the sleeping area there's a double closet and at the base of that is the is the wheel well and also that's where the uh, propane heater is at. How's the closet space? Closet space is decent. The uh, the only fault I would have with it, yeah it's just it's got stuff in there. But I got a, I think I got a sewing machine and baseball gloves <laughs> and clothes and everything else in there. Uh, the only issue I have with it is the way these are, are mounted. And uh, I'm a bigger guy, so none of my clothes, <laughs> all of my clothes are going to be dragging on the bottom of that thing. Uh, I think maybe uh, those storage containers, they, they have those uh, closet organizers, that would be a prime spot for that. You know, to, to where you fold more of your stuff and have them situated a little differently. It's really cold. You light your heater up, you can put that right there and it's going to block out this area just a little bit uh -huh. <laughs> and it makes a world of difference see what I do is usually if I don't if I don't like the heater I'll just open this one up and, and pull it like that and it it cuts that area that back area off so it stays a little warmer just from body heat oh nice yeah there is the uh, bathroom lavatory area nice little shower uh, this is exactly like mine yeah, it's <laughs> It's a, it's a little dirty in there right now because I, I don't use it for showers right now uh, just because I didn't want to have to uh, uh, winterize uh, the, the water system. 
So you're not spending the winter up here in Alaska in this? No, not not the winter. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go to Anchorage for the winter this time. And the back bedroom area is it is it big enough for you? Do you like Absolutely. it? Absolutely. It's it's big enough for me and another person. I've slept two in there before, and it's super comfortable. Like I said, it's like being in the little cocoon. It's uh, especially if you you know you pull that door shut, like pull the door back towards you. Mm -hmm. It it really closes it off. And it's just a very peaceful environment to, to have a good night's rest. And for those that didn't see the video earlier, you do have the option to open this up and get a pretty amazing view. Just right there, right out of your van. Yeah, it's a, it's one of a kind. It's a really nice, really nice uh, view out the back there. Even the side, the side window is probably even nicer <laughs> if it didn't have the little, uh, Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, it's beautiful out there. Like I said, yesterday I, I, I uh, had a couple hours. I said, you know, the sun's out, and I knew it was going to be nice in the back here. I said, I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> and I opened those up, and I just kicked back. I was like a, a cat in the sunlight. What's your favorite part about this van? The mobility of it. Uh, you know, not having to hook up a truck to a trailer, you know, as far as like a, a little small camper. And I'm in it. I don't have to worry about something behind me. I just have to worry about what the vehicle that I'm in. Uh, I think it's, uh, you know, it's 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 really a, a stress relief when you don't have to worry about that because you were, did I put the chains on? Do I have it? You know, do I have the hitch on secure? Uh, you eliminate all of that. Everything's in here. You can probably get uh, four big, you know, four adults in. And you know, play some cards or have a few drinks, uh, play Scrabble. It's a, uh, I don't know. It's just a, it's a great little vehicle. Hey everybody, this is Chris and G. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out our new website, ChrisandGTravels.com, and look at our Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter for daily updates on our adventures. Click the link in the right corner to watch some of our favorite older videos. Hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Nailed it!